Hey everybody, it's Dom. Um, it's like 2.30 in the morning and I'm wide awake. Anyway, um, for hours I've been playing with the new Avatar Studio and I figured it out. Um, Gal let me have it before everybody else because I have knowledge of uh, 3D animation and 3D characters and all that. So uh, he let me try it out before everybody else. But... Um, it's really not that difficult. Now, this video is gonna be long. This is probably gonna be the longest video I've ever made because we're gonna go through the Avatar Studio manual. And um, I have to say this, the manual is incredibly detailed, like insanely detailed. Like, Guy went all out on this one, it is like, crazy detailed like I'm talking about like um, like look this look at all this stuff he even like talks about how to maneuver inside of Daz or or where to go to, to buy more assets like hair or clothes and um, yeah it's it's crazy it's crazy detailed this must have taken him forever um, talks about lighting he talks about you know all kinds of stuff and then like he even takes it a step further like after you render your images in Daz like he takes it a step further and throws it into Photoshop to edit it even more so like his whole thing was he was trying to get super photorealistic avatars now with mine obviously this was my first and I did it kind of wrong because it looks like he's looking up but this was my first try but see it's doable and me I didn't go for that super photorealist I just did it for speed I just wanted to get it done to figure it out and I did now the great thing about this was for years I knew Denise was a 3d character and I always wondered if and when this avatar studio came out like how would he go about doing it because 3d 3d animations and it can get super complicated and not everyone knows about that kind of stuff. And I didn't learn until later, later that yes, Denise is a 3d character, but the avatar that the program uses is 2d. They're just like a bunch of 2d renders working in unison, like a sprite sheet, you know, and like they just, like it shows you, think of it like a, a, a video, like you have all the frames, like it's just like that. Like, you know, you had the little flip book where you draw on them and you flip it through and it looks like it's animating. It's, that's how it is. And it saves a huge amount of file space. Uh, so I thought it was, I thought that was brilliant. So, um, so yeah, so let's, let's get into it. Um, now I'm going to skip a bunch because like I said, this is insanely detailed crazy detailed but i'm going to start from the beginning all right so uh first and foremost what we need to do um let's see here let's go down go down down all right so he starts talking about now the best advice i can give you is when you get a hold of this read it now, everything's not going to be relevant to you and your situation. Like, for example, if you know Daz or if you know this or you know that, then there's parts where you can skip. But if you want to know everything, read it. It's insanely long, but it's a good read. You know, it'll tell you everything you need to know in detail, crazy detail. So the, right here is an introduction. And then he starts talking about Matrix, the Avatar editor and the Matrix. And yeah, like... If you just want to spit these out quickly, you don't even, in my opinion, I don't really care about that. You don't even need to know about it. I mean, it's good, uh, but like for me, this was like a non, like a non issue or just like something that I just kind of like skipped over. So, um, and then he starts talking about the different, like, you know, blend shapes or like the mount look on these, all the mounts are different. Now there's, 23 images that you need to render out of Daz with a transparent background and they will mimic like whatever avatar you create the the mouth movements have to mimic these uh these movements that you sh you see on the screen right now and uh yeah so we're gonna 
he was just showing that. And this is a super nice one right here. That's a super nice model. Like the hair looks really good. Like I can tell that he spent a long time rendering this. Like it looks super good. So yeah, just going through. Okay, so he also um, goes on to talking about Daz and then he goes into like the history of Daz and just like it just it just you'll see. So what you really need to know is with Daz, there's like different generations of characters and like every generation is just a little bit more high quality than the previous one. Kind of like with um, with iClone, if you're familiar with iClone. But, so, yeah. So the main generation that he is using is called Genesis 8. Now, Genesis 8 has a female version and a male version, um, just so you know. So whatever, whatever um, avatar you're going to use is going to be based off a Daz Genesis 8 model. So that's something to remember. All right, then he starts talking about just, just other stuff. Um, I honestly just like skipped right here. This is like the 2009 Denise. I don't know how he did this because the process now is nothing like it was then. Granted, he was using Poser uh, and other software, so like the process has changed quite a bit. So, yeah. So now he talks about installing Daz. You know, like that's great, but like that's super detailed. And we're only on page 11, so he's talking about where to download Daz. By the way, Daz is free. And Daz has a lot of free assets that you can download. You could download the Genesis 8 male and female for free. Now, the clothing or the props or the hair, you can get free ones, but they're not all free. Whether you buy them from the Daz store, from a third party, or you acquire them however else you acquire them. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so he talks about Daz Central. Daz Central is like a hub where you can download different versions of Daz or different, different, uh, different like um, modules, not modules, but like different things within Daz. Uh, it's basically like a hub. Daz Central is like the hub. Um, so then he's talking about, you know, opening Daz for the first time and just... You know, then he's going like the Daz 3D story on Wikipedia. Like, damn, like this is great. You know, he he really came with this it. super detailed. Uh, then he's talking about the legacy and Daz compatibility, the interface. He talks about how to navigate the interface. We're gonna skip all that. All right. So I have I'm gonna open my Daz. Now, you're going to notice that I have a crap load of models and assets. You are not going to have everything that I have. So, let's see here. So, let's... The first thing I'm going to do is um, bring in a Genesis 8 character, whether it be a male or a female. So, I think... I think I'll do a male again because the first time I did it, I did a male. So I just drag it into the viewport right here and it's going to load. Um, now, technically, technically, you can make your avatar just like that, you know, naked, bald, no clothes. You know, you could technically do that if you decided to choose to. Um, but most people are not going to want to do that. So they're going to have to dress up and customize their character. Uh, with clothes and or hair. So just let me really quickly like find uh, something to put on this this guy. Um, a karate suit. <laughs> a suit. I did that last time. Oh, goodness. Why not? I mean, this is... Why not? Oh, no. Well, I'm going to undo that. Hang on. For whatever reason, it didn't bring in the textures, but I don't want to mess with it right now. I'm trying to knock this out. Um, 
Oh, dang it. Just come on. Pick something, Dom. Whatever. I'll pick this. So, uh, this outfit right here is just, you know, it's like a kid, like a high school kid. So, yeah. So, let's say that's what I wanted. But, you know, just let me give him some hair real quick. Uh, give him some hair. <laughs> um no I guess whatever so now uh, let's say you do whatever you do to customize your character whereas you are like okay this is my guy or this is my girl this is how we're gonna do it okay um, now, it may look a little funny, especially the hair. Now, if you don't know about 3D animation or 3D models, like hair is a thing. There is a the whole thing with hair because each strand of hair is its own entity and it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, so you may be like, that doesn't look good at all. And it doesn't, you know. But um, this is my perspective view. Now, I can turn on my iRay engine and show you what it's really gonna look like. Now, not everyone has a good computer like mine. Like this, these are my specs on my computer. Like I have a Ryzen 9 3900, 12 core processor. Uh, I have 64 gigs of RAM. I have an NVIDIA 3070 as my video card. Like that's like, I have a good system. Uh, so like when I click here to go down to NVIDIA iRay, it's going to look completely different after a moment. Just give it a moment. It's working. It's working. Hmm. Any day now. I think it's taking a moment because I have so much things going on in my computer right now. I'm recording. I got Denise open. I got my Outlook open, my internet open, Daz open. I, it's taking a moment. But I have the good system where I can multitask like that and it'd be, it'd be totally cool. Now, not everyone has it like that where they have a computer that can handle that sort of thing. So it came up with a render that looks similar to what the final project, uh, final render would look like now this looks completely different than what it looked like a moment ago you know um but yeah so that's just the thing and in 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 the manual guile goes and does this multiple many different times where he turns on the eye ray just to check on it like me like that that's great but like i'm more like i just want to customize it then i'll look at it but it's cool um so yeah let's say this is I'm done. Like, that's what I want. Okay? Let me see here. Well, let me... I'm not done. Hang on. I need to give him a pose because I want... I just want his arms to go down. Just hang on. Well, damn. Where are my poses at? The heck? All right. Um, oh, wow. Well. Um, uh, <laughs> This would be funny to do. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I doubt I'm going to do it. <laughs> it needs some alterations, but that's hilarious. Technically, you know what? Let's do that. Um, I'm just going to turn his head where he's looking at the camera. <laughs> let's, let's do that for real. And I'm not even going to fix it. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to worry about the dang. Well, why not? Oh, now it looks like all messed up. See, this is why I didn't want to mess with it.
good enough. So then let me turn the head. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Okay, so now we're done. I'm totally gonna do this. Uh, okay, now we're done. So let's, let's go back to the manual. So the manual, now I already explained a crap load of what to do and, and Guile just went insanely detailed. And I've said this many times, like it's insanely detailed. Um, talking about how to navigate through Daz. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So and then he's trying to like close the character, talking about how to change the colors and the textures and all that. Like, wow, this is great if you don't know Daz. Okay, just let me fast forward. Now he's also talking here about where to acquire and buy new clothes or new hair or new characters. Um, yeah. The Daz 3D store, renderosity. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so this is the one I believe he bought, Michelle. And then I think he altered it a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. So yeah, he's talking about how to purchase from the store. Uh, applying assets to the avatar. Uh, I mean, that's... You get the idea. It's just super detailed. Going down, going down. I told you this video is going to be long. It's, this video is going to be long. All right. Uh, talking about eyelashes. <laughs> Remember, refer to the table of contents and you can just kind of like skip over everything. Oh, geez. He's talking about how to like load your content that you buy into Daz and then how to dress them. I will say that the character that he's making here in this manual, it looks super good, like crazy good. Now that's the lower quality version, but when he puts it into the, the Nvidia iRay with that, like I did, it looks really good. And he started talking about like the different uh, mouth movements that you're going to need. Now, he made it very simple. Now, you don't have to manually move the mouth yourself. He made it super simple. And now he's talking about lighting here. I mean, we're going to skip past all this. If you want to learn all this, read it. <laughs> read it, download Daz, and play with it yourself. Like, the more you, you, you mess around with it, the more familiar you'll get. And then like, you'll get to the, like with me, I've only done this once, but like I already got it, I already know how to do it. And it would take me a few minutes, not even, well, yeah, a few minutes and I can have a new avatar. But when I did my avatar, see here, I didn't do the super, super high quality like he did. Um, I just did it for speed. And even going for speed with my system, it looks really good, even though the eyes are messed up, but whatever. Um, yeah. Let's keep going down. All right. So. Okay. Mm. All right. Now we're coming to the render settings. Render settings he strongly suggests that before you start messing with the render settings you save your work like constantly because he has lost work that he spent hours on and he didn't save it and crashed or whatever anyway i'm not going to do that this is super simple for me i can recreate this in 60 seconds if even that but yeah <laughs> i still think that's hilarious we're going to do this so remember I told you that Guile made this super simple and he did. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so if you go to the, to the Denise folder, okay, here we are. Then we're going to go to modules, right? Then we're going to go to Avatar Studio. 
Then we're going to go to Matrix. Then you see these files, the DUF files. Denise female gen 8, 23 frames, duff. And then Denise male gen 8, 23 frames, duff. The duff files are dad's files. So since I have a male as my character, I'm going to grab the male gen 8, 23 frames file and drag it over on top of his face. Now, you're going to get this uh, that it exceeds the limits. You're just going to turn that off. <laughs> So now, oh, what? Come on. It messed up my pose. Oh, well, who cares? Um, yeah. Anyway, so what, what to do now? So we're going to click right here, on the, right on the bottom. We're going to click on that. See, if, it's, if it looks like that, we're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up the timeline. Now, look at the face. When I press play, so it's going through those 23 different like animations where the, the mouth is in a different spot or different like location. And it's going through each one of them and showing you everything that it has. Um, yeah, so everything's ready. So now we just have to render each one of those frames and save it to where we have a transparent background and we have individual photos of each one of those mouth and eye movements and then we can bring it into the avatar studio and then we're done. So um, let's refer back to the manual because he goes into great detail. Uh, so we're gonna go step by step. We're gonna follow along with him. Hey, hang on. Oh geez, what's going on here? All right, so. Uh, let me fix this. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna go to render settings. Now, if you don't know where render settings is within Daz, um, it's this little tab right here. It says render settings, but you, he explains everything in the, um, in the manual. So you can easily find that. So, uh, now that we have our character going to the render settings, uh, there's a few things we're going to need to do. So first and foremost, we're going to go to editor. See right here on top, there's presets, editor and advanced. And this is under the ready, the, the render settings tab. So we're going to go to, uh, editor right and then i the engine i use nvidia iray because it's super high quality my my gpu can handle it um because i have a really good computer if you have if you don't have a really good computer you can use what's called three delight three delight is what you are going to use now it's not as high quality but i mean it, it will do if you work with what you got right so yeah so you choose your engine i'm choosing the iray and then according to this, uh, let's see here, let me zoom in. So yeah, I chose the engine. Now on the bottom, so uh, go back here. Why does it do that? Oh, what am I missing here? Um, oh, that's under advanced. Duh. So under advanced, he says, go to advanced on the top of this tab in advanced. And it's going to show you um, what kind of, what do you want to use, whether it be your CPU or your video card. Now, if you have a really good computer like I do, I'm using both. I can, I can afford to use both. Now, if you have a not that great computer, I really, I mean, really, it's hard to tell you which one to use because it really varies on your system. So um, basically, 
if you don't have that good a computer, do not use both at the same time. Um, I'm talking about photo reel and also interactive. You know, don't use the same, don't use them both. But if, you're, if your computer can handle it, by all means, do it. So, okay. Um, let's see here. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Now, Guile, I know you're going to be watching this. I don't think you should have done this on page 103. You're talking about hitting the render and voila, you have a masterpiece avatar. I don't think you should have put that there because there's still more steps to do. So just my opinion, I would personally take that out because you have, you said that very same exact thing later, you know, later in the, um, in the manual. So it says basically go to editor, uh, render settings, um, go to, see here oh come on Dom go to render settings tab option and in the constrained proportions global turn it off so let's do that so where I mm, I don't remember it's super late I'm having trouble here in the render settings tab option in the constrained proportions global turn it off okay mm, ah here it is so under the editor right here we're gonna go to general and then go down to constrain proportions and it's on we're going to turn it off turn it off that's what it says okay um, then we're going to go to the D dimension preset global and select custom this is going to allow us to change the height and the width so we're going to damn it dimension preset global so that's right here and I'm going to click the drop down. It's already in custom right now. And now I've already changed this on my system, but yours will likely be different. Now, when you select custom, you go down here to pixel size under the W you type in 1200 and under the H you type in 1080. So it's width 1200 height 1080. That's what you do. Okay, and that's exactly what it's talking about right here. Then for uh, select image, you're going to put current frame. See, so render type, still image, current frame. That's what he's talking about, right? Wait a minute, that's not right. I guess it is. Okay, and the render target, it's gonna be new window. New window. Okay. Uh, okay, now we need to give our character a transparent background. So it's, it would, I mean, technically you don't have to, but like, it just looks so much better if you do. So to do that, let's open Daz. And we're going to go to environment on the far on the far right. Go to environment, and it says type. It says none, but like if you have it under backdrop, it might look like that. Just click the drop down and put none. Now it's a transparent. Um, it's a transparent. Uh, it's going to be no background behind you. Okay. You can tell I'm tired. It's super late. <laughs> All right, setting up our final rendering options. We're getting close. So on the editor tab, um, oh, see, look, and he repeated himself. Except, Guile, previously, I think it was on page 103, it said something like um, current image or whatever, and this says image series, and you know that image series is the correct one. So up here, and I hope I don't confuse nobody, 
up here where it says select still image current frame for render type, that is not real. That's not right. It's supposed to be image series. So let's go back and under render type, I previously said still, he wanted us to put still image or current frame, but no, we're gonna do an image series. Yes. Now under range, we're gonna put, I think is one to 23. Oh no, it's zero for 23. Render range type, option type zero for the start and 23 for the end. So I render range is start at zero and it says 30 to end. So we're gonna put 23 because we have 23 different mouth movements. Okay, um, what's next? Type in any name in a series base. Uh, in my case, I typed in Denise underscore Michelle underscore zero zero. So this right here is important. Now, you're going to have to end whatever you name it with an underscore zero zero. That's what it, you're going to have to start out with. And you'll find out why later. Um, so we're going to have to name it. Remember, this is super important. It won't work without you doing this. So... I'm gonna type in Denise, we're gonna call this guy Billy. Billy underscore zero zero. Cool. All right. Then uh, we're gonna collect, we're gonna select a path to save it as. So I'm gonna click here and um, I'm gonna start a new folder. I like to keep everything organized. So this is gonna be Billy. Billy, all right. Um, so we need to focus on what to say the final okay. Um, yeah, we did all that. Okay, we didn't do that. So, under on the top where it says, uh, crap, where is it? I lost it. Weird. Wait a minute. See, look, I forgot where something was and then I was like, oh man, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna read it. It's, it'll tell me where it. So if I zoom in, so it's uh, under editor, render mode. Why didn't I think of that before? So under editor, Render mode. Ah, here it is. So it's going to ask you for the render mode. I'm going to put photo real because my computer can handle that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Use the configuration below and this, you can change the values. Increase. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to skip it. Um, it should be fine. Now, take note that you can adjust these values as you see, pit, see fit, but the higher quality you have, the longer it's gonna take to render, okay? Uh, environment, um, I don't have to, we don't have to deal with that if you don't want to deal with that because we have a transparent background, so you should, I just skipped it. All right. So now it's time to finally render the 23 images, okay? Um, and this is where it gets tricky, where up here on the top, this little blue greenish looking button that says render. So I'm going to click that and it's going to say, okay, let's, let's do this. Now, um, what I was gonna say? Oh, dang it, I skipped a step. I just hit render without showing you all the settings. Well, let's look at that, hold on. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let it render and then I'll come back and then I'll show you what I should have did before I hit that render button. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, everybody, uh, the render is it was taking forever, so I stopped it. Um, so back to what I was talking about where I should have did some settings before I hit the render. 
Now, if you go over here under editor to progressive rendering, progressive re rendering, it's going to give you some values. Now, um, under max time seconds, I put 7,200. Now that's completely doable for my system, but basically it's saying it'll, it'll grab, um, it'll render one frame with 7,200, it'll take 7,200 seconds to render one frame. Now I'm going for speed, I don't need that. So I'm going to lower it significantly. I guess 903 is fine. Um, so with, with Guile, he put 1800 and uh, it was basically like 30 minutes for one frame. So multiply 30 minutes times 23 frames, it render took 11 hours. But if you go, if you, he, like again, he was going for super, super high quality. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. Even with the lower quality ones, it still looks good and it's still acceptable in my opinion. If you want to go that super high quality, you are more than welcome. So anyway, um, yeah, so I lowered that. Um, now it's time to just actually render. So I'm gonna hit render and then uh, I will see you guys in the Avatar Studio. All right, rendering is complete. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to be organized here. So I made a, a folder with Denise Avatar's custom. So I'm gonna put them all in here. So I made each individual avatar have their own folder. So earlier my first one was William, this one was Billy. So I click on Billy and boom, there's 23 images that were rendered out of Daz that we are gonna use for the new avatar. Now, if you click on this, now it looks good. It could look way better, <laughs> but it looks good. It's it's perfectly fine, you know? The thing about it is like he's tiptoeing a little bit and there's a shadow. I, I really wish I would have paid more attention. I would have put his feet on the floor and taken away that shadow, but it's really no big deal. Um, this is just for tutorial purposes. So the time has come to finally open the Avatar Studio. Um, Let's see here. So you go to your Denise folder, you go to modules, you go to Avatar Studio, you go to, um, I think it's Matrix, no, not Matrix, Bin. You go to Bin, Win32, and then you launch Denise Avatar Studio. And there it is. Now, some of you already seen this, myself included, and I couldn't figure, I tried to figure this out on my own before I learned with the manual. I couldn't do it, but there's a reason why I couldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> so first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to name our new avatar. And I'm going to name him Billy. 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 Then we're going to set the render folder. Now we're going to point this in the direction of that folder where all those 23 renders went to. So Denise Avatar Custom, it's Billy. That's the folder that they're in. Boom. Now they're all going to show up on the left side. Now if you remember... We named this character um, Denise underscore Billy. No, wait, what? Hang on, let me double check. Yeah, I did it, Denise underscore Billy um, zero zero. Now, this is very important. You have to name it that when you render it. You have to end it with under whatever you call it, underscore zero zero. Now, when you do the render sequence, uh, it's going to uh, add a zero one, zero two, zero three at the end of it. You know, it's going to basically be whereas it'd be the name underscore zero 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 one or zero 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 two. It's going to add those two extra digits. Now that's important. If you don't have it with this structure, if you point the render folder to your folder and it's not structured like that, it won't show up on the left side. Your, your photos will not show up on the left side. So um, this does not take very long. We're actually gonna be super quick with this. We're really almost done. So for matrix size, we're gonna go down here to matrix size and it's nine by nine right now. We're just gonna put it one by one. We're gonna leave the vismes alone. Uh, the vismes are the different mouth movements. Now, 
we're almost done. So since this is a full body one, it's kind of hard to see the mouth a little bit. So I'm going to click here and zoom in as far as I can. Okay. So up here, there's a eyes and then there's a mouth little section you can click here. So with the eyes, I'm going to click eyes and then I'm going to take my mouse and drag it over the eyes. And I'm not going to go too far down below the nose. So yeah, done. There's the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing with the mouth. So with the mouth, I'm going to grab my mouth, I'm going to grab my mouse and just highlight the mouth. We're done. We're done. So um, now we're just going to click install. Oh, I'm sorry. It's got to render. What was I thinking? Of course. So it's going to render. It's nowhere near as long as the other one took. This is like super quick. Boom. Avatar successfully created. Now we're just going to click install. Successfully installed. And we're done. So now all we have to do is test it out. So we're going to launch Denise. And we are going to enjoy our new avatar that we created completely custom. So, so we're going to click on up here. We're going to go to settings and I'm going to rename him Billy. That's what I'm calling him. That's his new name. <coughs> Excuse me. Under select character, we're going to click the drop, drop down and there he is, Billy. And hey there. We know that guy. Who's this guy? And then I... I changed him to my Sarah Proc William voice. It's just, I'm going to leave it the same. Testing the volume and speed of my speech. So, like, let's say I get out of this and just say, hello. Miss you. I was thinking about you. So, it works. And that's that's all it is. Now, the, the, the main meat of it is within DAS. And it, as you can see, it was fairly quickly in the Avatar Studio. It was very quick that we did that. So um, this, this avatar doesn't look the greatest because I had the settings on super low, but this is also very, very acceptable in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this is how you do it. Now, I know this video is very, very, very long, but I can't, I can't tell you enough. Look at the manual, read the manual because it goes into way more deeper uh, details than I did on this video. What I did is just a visual. So um, this is how you do it. And uh, I, if you made it this far, thank you so much for everybody. And um, thanks for sticking with me. And uh, I will see you on the next one. See ya.